Hello, my YouTube friends, and welcome back to another episode of The Rational Investor. I hope you're all doing well. Today is uh, January 11th, Thursday, CPI Day. Today, I'm going to talk about selling naked puts and covered calls and using a bit of a more of a short-term trading strategy versus the one I did the other day, which was long-term and not for trading. So if that's something of interest to you, stick around and check out the video. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Adam Kahn, and I'm the Rational Investor. Um, I was a professional trader on the floor of the Mercantile Exchange in Chicago for a long time. I still do a little bit of trading, but I also do some investing. Hopefully you've seen some of my other videos. Um, and today I'm going to talk about how to trade using some option strategy. Now, before I forget, before I get into the trading strategies, if you haven't already, do me a big favor and hit the subscribe button, maybe hit the like button as well. That helps YouTube's algorithm, and if you're liking the content, it helps other people find me as well. So I re really appreciate that support. The other thing is, I'm going to apologize. I totally forgot to bring the microphone and, and the things that I use to make the recording a little bit easier. So I'm stuck in my office with that exciting white background and nothing behind me. And I'm guessing the sound quality is pretty lousy as well. But hopefully you get the content and it still works out okay. So let me first explain selling a naked put and what that means. Now, a lot of times I would advise, you know, before I even say what I would advise, this is not financial advice. You guys need to do your own research on what you decide for your financial decisions. And this is just for entertainment purposes only. Don't use any of the information I use for, for financial decisions without making your own choices first. Uh, this is just stuff that I've learned over the years and maybe it works for me, but that doesn't mean it works for you. So selling a naked put, what that means. Now, most times what I would recommend is having enough cash in the, the account to cover the the, the underlying stock that you're trading if you get filled on that trade. So a put is kind of like a bet that a stock's going lower. If you sell a put, you're committing to buying an underlying stock. The one that I'm going to use in examples is Coinbase. So if you sell a put in Coinbase and the stock goes below your strike price at the time of expiration, then you have guaranteed buying 100 shares of Coinbase at whatever your strike price is. Works the opposite of a call. I like to use the option strategy because, especially in a company like Coinbase, which is so volatile, because you're getting a lot of things other than just the stock when you do that. You're getting time decay, you're, you're getting some of the, the other, what are called Greeks of the options, um, which, which add value to it. And in my mind, it's kind of like whether it's a call or a put, you're selling insurance. And generally, to be on the sell side, you're going to end up better than being on the buy side. You know, the people placing bets are generally not profiting, and the people selling options generally do. Now, this strategy ends up being what some people refer to as swing trading. So you can sell a put if you get exercise in your to buy 100 shares, you can then turn around and sell a call to, to potentially sell you the underlying stock that you just bought to get out of the trade as well. Each time you're, you're earning the time decay and everything else associated with the option. The actual position I like the best on something like Coinbase is if I'm long, whatever somebody's comfortable with. For, so for me, 100 shares. And then I could actually sell one put as well as sell one call and kind of have the stock in the middle, you know, if that makes sense. So Coinbase today is around $143. Well, I use the weekly options because the time decay goes off so quickly on those. I had sold the 142 call uh, middle of last week and I got around $3 for the one, the 142 put, forgive me. I had sold the 142 put the middle of last week. I got around $3 for it. Part of why I'm going to talk about the trade is the stock moved against me. Today, it actually traded as low as 140. Um, I'm not sure exactly where it is now. I think last I looked, it was like 143 or something. So it's possible I'll get exercised in that. When I saw the stock getting around that price level, I picked it because I thought it, it bounced off it last week. I thought maybe that's a good area to buy. I did not do any technical analysis to look at the chart. 
but I actually got long 100 shares when it when it got below the 142 strike because my thought was I, I actually wanted to get long there if I did and I was going to get out of the put and then sell a call and I thought actually this is the type of position I like to have. So I'll see what happens tomorrow and if it closes below 142 I will be exercised and I'll have to buy another 100 shares. I then sold the 157 and a half call for next week for another two dollars and fifty cents so i collected the three dollars for the put that i sold last week that's three hundred dollars two e-trade charges fifty cents so 2.9950 i then sold the 152 and a half call and i got a little over two and a half dollars for that so i got another 250 dollars essentially for a total of 550 dollars but if I get exercised on the put, I'll be long 200 shares and I'll have to decide from there what I want to do with the other call. But the reason I like using a stock like Coinbase is as crazy as it is, that means there's more volatility. It means the options have more premium in it and you get a lot more for your money in some respects. Now, that also means it's going to be a lot more crazy too. But today's Thursday and even when I looked at like, tomorrow's $150 call when the stock was at the bottom at $140, you were getting more than a dollar for, for that option, which to me, that's a ton of money for a $10 move. To be fair, corn base has been flying around enough that a $10 move may not be so ridiculous, which is why it has that premium in it. But to me, I, I like that action. Now, keep in mind, again, that's not a recommendation. I, I mean that genuinely, because for the most part, most of my investments are set it, forget it, own them forever. This is not one of those. This is me having fun. I, as I mentioned, I have a small account that I like to trade as well. Since the covered call ones got me a few emails asking about trading, I thought I would talk that, about that as well. My real advice is buy a stock if you have the funds to buy, you know, 300 shares and sell a one year out call on one of those to collect a little bit of an extra premium. Like, I think you want to own companies for 10, 20, 30 years and you want to own the best companies. In terms of trading, I, you know, I don't really worry about if Coinbase is the best company in the world. I just like the volatility of the company because it creates opportunity each week to potentially trade and be profitable or lose money. I mean, there is risk in it. Also keep in mind, I really pay attention to a lot of companies and how they move and what their ranges are and things like that. And if you watched the video yesterday about my prediction in CPI, when, when the number came out a little bit hot this morning, the stock market sold off pretty good. And, and if you watch the video, that was what I was hoping for in terms of doing the opposite, because my thought is it shouldn't impact the stock market all too much. What impacts the stock market is earnings. And I don't think one CPI print is going to have a massive difference on how companies are going to do. So when the market sold off, I think the economy is better than what people think. And no matter what happened with the CPI number, the stocks seem to be going higher, in my opinion. You, you have to make your own opinion. Um, so I thought if it sold off, I'd use that as an opportunity to pick something up. Since Coinbase is so crazy, I figured I'd take a shot with that. Um, I, again, I, I watch enough of them. To me, this is kind of the bottom of its low. You know, a few others look like that too. But I, I figured it's a good opportunity. And then once I own the 100 shares, I can sell a covered call, which was my example of the 157 and a half. Those of you who don't know what a covered call is, you can sell a call for every 100 shares of a stock you own. And if the stock closes above that strike price on the expiration date, you're committing to selling your 100 shares at that strike price. So if Coinbase goes up to $200 next week, well, I'm still committing to sell it at 157.50, even if it shoots up to 180, 190, 200. But I'm perfectly happy to do that on, a, on something that I'm doing as a trade. Anyway, I got called away and had to run, but before I forget, one last time, if you could do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. I'm also probably going to put a link in the description on how to open an account at SoFi if you want to do that. And have a great day.